Let's take a look at what a really efficient nitrogen system could look like. And so here at 360 Yield Center, we talk a lot about 360 base plus. And what that really is, is where you come out and you manage your nitrogen to win, no matter what kind of a growing season we have. Summer of 15, lots and lots of water here in Illinois. Summer of 18 and 16 are almost identical. So let's talk about it. A base plus is where you come on and put in some base. So let's just draw here. And we know we got this little seed planet. So let's get it off to a really good start. And so for us on our farm, we're gonna come in and put 80 pounds of nitrogen and we're gonna band it on each side of where that seed's located. That's why the planter is such an ideal choice. What I like about base plus is it's a portion of your nitrogen right at the start of the season. And then the beauty of it is we wait. And by waiting, I mean, we're gonna let nature show her hand. Is it gonna be summer 15 with massive amounts of rains? Or is it gonna be more like 16 and 18, which are almost identical here in Illinois, where we're gonna get timely rains? Yes, some of those rains were three and two inch water events. And we know that nitrogen moves with water, but at the same time, this 80 units of nitrogen is gonna carry me to where the corn plant starts to really need its max amount of N. That's a head high corn, V10. So when we come in and we would band some nitrogen on each side of that planter row in a base plus system, this puts us in a position that we can jump either way. Lots and lots of water. We got a lot of technology at 360 for our wide drop. We can come in and then apply the rest to take us to harvest. So let's take a look at what it might look like. We come in and plant this seed and we're a big proponent of starter. So there's gonna be some starter on the seed itself and it's gonna have this little starting, little seedling roots. And then as that seed starts to grow, all corn plants, no matter where you live, whether you're in Australia or South Africa or America, it puts on a crown three quarters of an inch below the ground. And this plant for quite some time is gonna live off of mama seed up to uh, V5, and that's a critical time in this plant's life. And then as these crown roots start to migrate down, and we know exactly where they're gonna be. That's why we designed 360 Bandit. We knew exactly where to put the bands of nitrogen. Remember, a band of nitrogen is 2X the value of broadcast. So if you were gonna broadcast 120 pounds at the start of your planting season, a 60 pounds of banded nitrogen are equal. And I really like when we talk, start talking about saving some dollars on inputs. And so for quite some time, this little plant is gonna live off of mama seed when the starch in that seed starts to dry up. As these crown roots start to emerge out of this crown, your ones and twos, we know they go down at a 35 degree angle. So for 360, when we designed it a, a planter nitrogen system, with Bandit, we said, we're gonna put the nitrogen three quarters of an inch under the surface versus two by two, because we know right where the crown roots are gonna intercept, and when they get into this band, they're gonna have a feeding frenzy. At the same time, at three quarters of an inch below the surface of nitrogen, we know as the rain start to come, it kinda of starts to look like a water balloon, and it starts to dissolve, delusion starts to take place. And as this nitrogen migrates down through the surface with moisture, the crown roots are gonna be right in to that feeding zone. So a base plus program is all about starting with the right amount of nitrogen, a portion of your nitrogen. You're not gonna be a once and done in a fall application or all ahead of planting where you put yourself at risk. The beauty about waiting is this. We know that in nature, mineralization happens all across the corn belt. And so when you and I raise corn, if nature wants to give us free nitrogen, and you take here in 2018 on our farm, we're able to track that we have a massive amount of mineralization. And so it's common for us to get 80 to 100 pounds of free nitrogen. I like that word, free. So if nature's gonna give me free nitrogen in the soil profile by the good bacteria as it multiplies and it feeds and it dies and it breaks down. And that plant can utilize that very, very readily. 
So we have 80 on. We're going to let the growing season start to mature. We're going to let nature, if it's going to beat on us or not, we're going to follow it closely. And we know there's going to come a time when we're going to need to come in and put some additional in on in a side dress. And so this plant's going to be growing here. <clears throat> and it's going to have a root system that's starting to take off. And so we're going to come in and side dress enough nitrogen to do what? To finish the race. A corn plant's going to put on an ear. Think about an ear as nothing more than a place for the plant to store the energy and starch in its kernels. And so once we get this ear on here, and it's got all its rows of kernels on this ear, how much nitrogen is it going to take to fill it all the way to the tip? The minute you and I start to stress corn, especially in late season, so after it's head tall, we run out of nitrogen, that ear is going to pull back. For you and I, we know that every kernel in length is worth six bushel to us. So if we, we lose five kernels due to the fact that Greg didn't have his nitrogen right, we're going to look at a what? 30 bushel. A 30 bushel hit due to the fact we didn't manage nitrogen. So base plus gets us out of the gate strong. Then we're going to come in a side dress and we're going to need to put some additional in on. And so for our farm, we had 80 on with the planter. We had some thiosol in there. We always put a 1 to 10 ratio. So if we had on 15 gallon of, of, of nitrogen, we'd put 1.5 gallon of thiosol on. And so it's a 1 to 10 ratio. Now we're going to come in and say, let's put the additional on to finish strong in the harvest so we have really good kernel count and really good kernel depth. High yields come from big kernels. You know, you think about in an average year, what do you, what do you look at? You look at 90,000 kernels equals a bushel. So we talk here in 2018, USDA has already said we're going to have a tremendous crop. So where's all that extra yield going to come from in the end of the growing season? I've seen good hybrids go down to 72,000 kernels will fill a bushel. And all of a sudden, this is where the 275 and 280 and 300 bushel corn crops come from, is massive kernels, which means you and I have to learn how to feed this crop. So if we're going to put additional in on, and so if you're going to come in with the wide drop and you're going to put some on, you could come in with a side dress bar. We like to position it right next to the plant. We already talked about how nitrogen moves with water. That nitrogen is going to start to migraine right down in to the feeding zone, and it's going to be dramatic. We've compared a lot to where if you side dress with a colder in the center of a 30-inch row compared to putting nitrogen on top right next to a plant that's knee-high, dramatic results. This always wins. We've been able to test six bushel just to positioning the same amount of nitrogen from the center of the row here, 15 inches away, to right over the root system, it's an easy six bushel for you and I to pick up. So for our operation, we're going to use our sprayer. We're going to come in if Y drop, and we're going to test. For us, we go in with our soil scan, and we pull a 12-inch core, 12 inches deep, and we bring it into our soil scan technology and we see how many parts per million of nitrate we have. And that's going to tell us how good Mike and his team have done. And so we know what? We know that your agronomists are going to tell you, you take your yield goal. So let's say you have a yield goal of 230 bushel. You take it times 1.1 pounds of N to equal a bushel. So in the academic world, that's going to take, what, 255 pounds of nitrogen to yield 230. If Mike and his team are working for us, which they do, we know that we can go from 1.1 to what we call the 0.7 club. And this gets my motor on high idle because anytime I don't have to write big checks, I'm in. And for the last three years on our farm, we're there or below. 0.72 down, I've seen as low as 0.58 pounds of N equal bushel. The only way that happens, because this fact is true, it takes 1.1. The only way that happens, if you got free N from Mike and his team. 
and they're out there working. And so it takes quite an environment to make all that happen. So if we're going to raise 230 and we're going to be in a 0.7 club, we're going to end up maybe if only about 180 pounds of N to do the same exact bushels or more. Because when you use base plus, I'm going to tell you as a grower that you're going to spend less to raise more. And that happens when you give yourself through the growing season the ability to react. Yes, super wet, crazy amounts of rain, you're going to use more in than 180, no question. You're going to be probably more than 0.7, no question. But in a normal growing season, what we've seen in 16, 17, and 18 in the last three years we know that we can maximize yields and use less. In this example, last year, this exact example, the grower's goal was 230. His agronomist did it once and done at 255. This grower come in at the base plus, and he put 75 pounds on, on his farm with the planter. He then come back, and he tested, and he said, you know what? All I need is another 105 pounds to finish the race because of Mike and his team. So he ended up with 180 pounds of N. But you know what the exciting things are? It was 11 bushel higher. He raised 241 bushel in that field with less nitrogen. And that individual put $80 an acre in his pocket, 80 bucks an acre. He farms over a thousand acres of corn. Don't tell me that you and I can't replace the kitchen cabinets and trade pickups and get a different combine. Because if we have 80,000 K that we can start to work with, you and I are gonna be in the driver's seat. So in conclusion, let's review. And we'll keep it very simple. A base plus system lets us react super wet. We can always come in and continue to add more nitrogen. Perfect growing season, we let Mike and his team do all the heavy lifting. If we're in Texas like this year and it's super drought, we're gonna just probably run with just the base plus and not invest anymore in that crop. So remember, for you and I, it's all about filling this ear. And the tip is where all the profit comes from. And so we have to make sure we got the right amount of in to finish the race. And at the end of the day, it's all about that smile we have on as we harvest this crop. <music>